YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil coming through with another weekly seven sneaker rotation. Thanks for everybody that's been watching my previous videos and thanks for y'all that's even watching this current video too as well. The views is definitely much appreciated. Um, I see my UA slash rep in 2022 talk is doing a little bit better than I expected. So it's good to know that y'all still want to see like talk videos too. Those one of the things that's been on my mind, but you know how it go guys. Uh, do people really want to hear it or not? Um, so yeah, I got a few more topics that I want to uh, bring to you guys anyway too. Um, it's just one of the things I just really haven't too much done in a while. I'm not going to sit up here and say my channel talking videos went unappreciated but you know they always did kind of decent or whatever but at least for my standard of, of, of uh, sneaker YouTube stats for me my channel personally but um, go check out the Air Max 95 video if y'all haven't yet that is the black and photo black and laser blue not photo blue black and laser blue Air Max 95 if y'all haven't yet I've already been wearing that sneaker already and it's good to actually do the review. So once I finally do bring it into a sneaker rotation, you guys will see it as well. Uh, that's one of the things with me, like I got other sneakers that I actually even wore uh, that I just want to show the review to you guys as well as more and more sneakers I got guys like, you know, like that I still need to show you guys as a review before I put it out as far as the weekly seven because y'all will be like what is that when did you get that or whatever or something like that now some some of the sneakers aged or whatever but i want to try to at least for me personally have a sneaker video for every sneaker that i do have in most cases i try to put a video out so first thing what first <laughs> first thing first day one monday that's when the sneaker rotation starts Day seven is Sunday. That's when the sneaker rotation ends. And I highly suggest you guys wear your kicks. If you don't wear the kicks, it will slowly start falling apart. And if you overwear the kicks, at least you had your fun in them, but they will kind of start breaking down too if you don't take care of them. So day one, Monday, I ended up rocking the Barkley Air Force Max 2013 joint. Now I showed you guys the red one not too, not too long ago. And I said I was gonna wear the black one and yeah guys definitely just end up you know i wore this joint a little bit more than usual it's easy to just match up easy i mean with a black and gray you know you got that raiders like colorway um you know if you like those more subtle low-key kicks or whatever this is definitely that joint right here as far as like color go um you know I, i'm back and forth i like the subtle colorway sometimes and i also like the colors that pop hence that vibrant red one that i had the other week so next on up and lastly too this is the one with the hyperfuse too with like less less threading tuesday end up rocking the nike air max one 30th anniversary so yeah these came out in 2017 but originally 1987 so definitely uh, anniversary iconic sneaker in my eyes and uh, yeah definitely flying flames even down to the I think I even did a review on this though too but yeah even the like the insole got 1987 on it though guys now with this I put the rope laces through here this is before the Sakai collab with the whole green and and this like kind of like Barney ish kind of like color it's not necessarily purple all the way, but like sort of a magenta like color. And um, this is a colorway I thought of, you know, or at least as far as like uh, the, the laces go. I thought about the green laces being through here. This wasn't something like, oh yeah, I seen the Sakai and I just got the idea from them. No, 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 no. These dropped before the Sakai and as soon as I got these sneakers at home, I was just like, man, I can't wait to put those forest green laces through there. So yeah, great minds think alike. It's good to know that the colors I pick out and match and style together is good enough to be on a collab sneaker. I'm taking it as a compliment. Also too, going to the top, you do got like a prism like effect. It's more so like rainbowish like in a way, but yeah, that's just part of it. You know what I mean? So next up on Wednesday, end up rocking the Cherry 13s, Fly in Flames. Can't wait till they drop the Cherry 12 still. I'm still waiting on those. Um, I don't know, man. I think we never gonna get them. And also too, 
it might just get down to a point where I might just have to pick up some old ones and maybe just like restore them so good that like they look brand new or something. Cherry 12s. Now these are obviously the Cherry 13s, Fly in Flames. I remember when these joints came out. I was an elementary man. I still remember it like yesterday when kids was wearing these joints, man. Fly in Flames. It's one of them, them moments in sneaker history that, it, man, to live through, like, man. Like, that's the East Bay Magazine right here. You get that East Bay Magazine, you're gonna see these. You're gonna see the uh, the Bread 13s, the He Got Games, all that. Thursday, I end up rocking the Adidas Stan Smith. Some simple, some easy, some classic, guys. Come on, you know. Just switch it up a little bit. Can't always be rocking the, uh, the heavy stuff, rather. Um, so, you know, this is just some simple, clean, and easy to wear. You can wear this practically with any kind of outfit. Um, depends on your taste. Now me, I like the green ones a little bit more because that's a little bit more versatile versus the red. But red is my color as well. And like this red right here, there's nothing really too special to it as far as vibrancy or anything. Just look like a normal red, everyday red that you would see on the sneaker. But for the most part, if you're wearing a sneaker, you know, this is basically covered up back here. If you if you wear pants, maybe joggers, but it's just, the red is just so subtle. You really won't notice. Or if you're one of those people that wear the cuff over the pants, it's really going to completely look like a, a white shoe. So um, definitely a comfortable sneaker that lasted through the test of time. Flying Flames, classic and crazy. Collabs been done on this. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But I just wanted to bring this out the archives anyway. I might have reviewed this a long time ago when I had a 720p camera, but it's good to also wear everyday classics too. This is a regular person sneaker, you know what I mean? Friday, end up rocking the Nike Air Max Zero. Fly and Flames. You know, this is springtime. Spring colorway right here. <clears throat> Got more so like a, a dull teal. And this sneaker was so phenomenal to me based off the way it looked. And it's just like a, a Tinker Hatfield throwaway. Like goodness, it was so close to coming out, but he just like, forget it, scrapped it. I'm happy they actually brought these out because this, I actually like the way this looked. He was heading in the right direction with this sneaker as well. You have to take risks to actually get the best product to people anyway, you know? So, uh, take it from me, I've, I've been doing product development for years and stuff, so. <clears throat> then at the top two, you got the Air Max Zero. Saturday, I ended up rocking a Bordeaux 7, Fly and Flames. Obviously, the last time we seen this colorway was on the 6, which didn't look too bad. That caught me off guard, caught me by surprise, like a Bordeaux, a Bordeaux 6. It was okay. I wish they dropped more 7s, but we'll see with that as far as due time go. And uh, yeah, definitely a classic fly flame color. This is one of the rare Jordans that like, mo where most of the OG colorways is a hit. The Bordeaux 7, the Hair 7, the Raptor 7, the Cardinal 7, those okay, those okay. But the Cardinal 7 is not at the top of the list for me. Usually it's the Bordeaux 7 and the Raptor 7 usually kind of competing with each other. And how could I forget the classic Olympic 7s too? Those are definitely flying flames. So like the 7 to me out of all the original Jordans way, uh, original retros, 1 through 14, even at least 1 through 13 because I know 14 got a little bit more of those lifestyle colorways. But the seven, like as far as OG colorways, like rank just in a general sense, as far as color palettes and stuff, the sevens colorways are definitely flying flames and one of those colors that you can recognize on almost on any model. So if they keep taking a Bordeaux seven colorway and maybe put it on the eights or maybe put it on the nines or something like that, it's gonna be so recognizable because this was definitely a period where Jordan or at least Tinker Hatfield rather was spicy with the colorways for this time around 92 so yeah definitely fly flames that's why we're on saturday um and i only just like these side note i know some guys like the little the one with the gray from 2011 at the bottom i still like these a little bit more than those i wanted those back then when before these dropped in 2015 but once i seen these i'm like it's a wrap these all the way because these look closest to the og i can't wait till they drop Hopefully they drop OG Raptor 7s. I like the Raptor 7s, obviously, but hopefully they do it in that dark gray colorway that I like. 
or at least to keep it close to the OG. Last but not least, Sunday I end up rocking the Air Jordan 1 Yin Yang joint. I know the ones is all the hype, but now I'm starting to see the ones die down a little bit. I might do a talk video on that, I don't know. Um, but these joints right here, I kept in the vault for a little while, decided to crack these out. Some simple, some easy, some classic to wear. They also got a reverse colorway as well, hence the yin and yang. Now, you know, they got the black swoosh and then the all white. I've seen more people rocking those than these, but since I already had white ones, like the white and red ones, the white and red metallic ones, or the white and blue metallic ones, I just decided to get a darker colorway as well, so that's what prompted me to get this. These, I didn't even get for retail. It was like actually a little bit below retail to get these. So rate, comment, and subscribe if you like sneakers, if you're a real fan of sneakers, all that. I got more content on the way. Reviews, talk videos, and even more weekly seven rotations. I'm out. Peace.